want me to come out, reach out to me. This is what I do, come out and serve my community. Black History Month is not only about the people that look like me or like you, it's about people that are doing... My name is Matthew Washington. I'm Deputy Borough President for Manhattan, but more importantly, I'm a kid of East Harlem. I'm a product of my community, still living in my community, serving in my community, and that's what's most important, you know, how we serve the people uh, who are around us, how we serve our family, our friends, and our broader community. You don't have to be related to deserve service, and I just want to serve my community. And you know many people are here and I am going to meet them as we go on but there's a special lady that brings me out tonight and this is Miss Esther DeVore. Esther DeVore is very instrumental in the community. Some of the members that have come before us uh, who do tremendous work, like Willie Mae Goodman for those with disabilities. It's important to recognize our community leaders who have fought so that many of us can continue to, to benefit and help our community. So I just want to say thank you for letting me be here. Happy Black History Month. This is Dorothy Neal. Thank you for watching Believe in Yourself. Right, right. Give me something with believe in yourself. That's me. I'm quoted for believing yourself. See, I gotta believe in myself. I gotta believe in myself. I gotta believe in myself. I'm a king, not a nigga. Please, Lord, you make a miss you when the trigger squeeze. I'm focused on becoming what I gotta be. Born drunk in biblical court filled with Hennessy. I gotta believe in myself. I gotta believe in myself. I gotta believe in myself. Anchors invisible make it hard to elevate. Procrastinating like a coffin ain't a breath away. The rich don't want friends, the broke want company, it's cool, but I want in. I'm trying to get this fast money, y'all. Forget getting it slow, clock ticking. Only thing worse than getting old is not getting dough. Gotta believe in yourself, so we purchase monopolies. Like Jews who purchase property, please tell me who's stopping me. I'm focused, frozen on the moment, why would I be joking? I'm cold, prime me open, froze, back in motion, go. Wrap the dope, and she gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself. See, we had bottles on the floor, roaches on the wall. I'm looking at the sky like, God, I deserve more. God gave me this talent, all I wanted was love. My father wanted to hunt, my mother thought it was love. Gotta believe in yourself, I'm a king, not a nigga. Please, Lord, make a miss you when the trigger squeeze. I'm focused on becoming what I gotta be. Believe in yourself. Oh my God. Come, you gotta give me a hug now. Give me a hug. Oh Lord, and I can't do it. He kissed me. You gotta believe. I'm gonna make it amazing. You are? Trust me. I believe that because you're smart. And you're smarter. <laughs> <laughs> and you're amazing. And you're phenomenal. And you're just handsome. And you are. Earth, wisdom, original woman, God in the flesh. I love this guy. I'm going to take him home. You know what? I just adopted him. I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm your new mom. We're family now. 
We're family. Go on, take we're, a picture, baby. Photogenic, baby. Give me that love, baby. We're close like this. <laughs> like this. Peas in a pot. Right? So, yeah. You, um, I'll be there. You know, you got to believe in yourself. I love this. I love the energy in here. Um, stay focused. And don't be afraid to go after your dreams. And the last thing I want to say is be mindful of your subconscious mind. Peace. Philadelphia, New York City, Connecticut. One of your favorite videographers, AKA Mario the Video Man, here in the east side of Harlem, over here doing what I love to do, supporting Esther DeVore in regard to what she loves to do, helping the community to help itself. Listen, Claudette St. Rose is gonna be here soon. I think she's taking an Uber from her third job, doing what she loves to do in regard to supporting her family, her friends, and those who love her. Claudette St. Rose is on her way, so when we come back from this commercial break, we're going to find out exactly who actually came out to support this Black History event. This is the last Thursday in the month of February, one of the shortest months of the year, but we all know that Black History is every day. And with that said, thank you so much for supporting what I do. And when Claudette St. Rose does her interviews, don't forget she has something up and coming for her mother, in memory of her mother. And that's going to be happening the last Sunday in March, which will be the 31st. If you're a basketball player or you love the game of basketball, it's a charity event for cancer survivors and those who are suffering from Alzheimer's and other illnesses that, of course, they don't ask to go through. So thank you so much for supporting what I do. If you'd like to find out more, you can go to my page, which is DJ Mario TV, or just hit me on Facebook under DJ Mario Harlem, and uh, you go get a snack and come on back. And we hope that Wendy Williams is feeling much better and she'll get back on her show. So thank you, Wendy, for what, all you do. Uh, Jeff Reed, I also like to thank Rick Fox, you know, the L.A. Laker guy, well, who's retired now. But thank you once again, guys. This is what we do, and we'll be back with more. Record at St. Rose and believe in yourself after this commercial break. Thank you, guys. So, 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 what we're going to do is we're going to have B Fats, DJ LA Love, we're going to have DJ Lance, I got a live band, um, Nate Lucas, All Star, and I got a surprise R&B act that's going to come in. It's going to be crazy, it's going to be bananas. Listen, April the 20th, Saturday, April the 20th, Grown and Sexy, right here at the Alhambra Ballroom, Frank the Cameraman Birthday Bash. And you know, Frank, if Frank's there, I'm there. I'm his man behind the scenes. But please support us. You yes. Know, come on, come on. Grown and sexy. Let's see what it is. Time, that's what it is. Look at these things. These diamonds. Yeah, check it out. It's diamonds. It's diamonds. You know? Once again, Frank the Cameraman, Billy Stokely. You know, we're here. CJ Entertainment recognized us at the Alhambra Ballroom. Today is February the 9th, actually the 10th. Free, we, free and it, Valentine's Day. Yeah, pre Valentine's Day. What it is, what it is. Shout out to Claudette St. Rose, Believe in Yourself video, DJ Mario. She did my birthday for you, sir. Oh, yeah, I saw that birthday. That was a yeah, it was a great interview. It was a great interview. That was a good party. Yes, too. it was. It was great. It was packed in It's crazy. Oh, People don't forget. It. I got the boat ride coming up That's July 26th. Oh, July 26th. If you've never been on one of my boat rides, I don't know, it's man. Bananas. It's crazy. You know, once again, I'm a photographer, not a promoter. Not a promoter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a man by the seat. Thank you, guys. Thank bless. you. Bye bye. <laughs> This is your girl Claudette for Believe in Yourself video and I am super excited to be here. To be here at the Taino Towers celebration for Black History Month. I heard there are a lot of people here. Uh, so many people are here and I am going to meet them as we go on. But there is a special lady that brings me out tonight and this is Miss Esther DeVore. Yes. Esther DeVore is very instrumental in the community and she knows a lot about what's going on and if you have any situations this is the person for you to talk to but 
let me not go on and on and on. Let Esther tell you who she is and what she's all about. Esther, girl, I'm always happy to see you. I haven't seen you in a minute. I know. I've been very busy. Um, it's so much been going on, especially with this election that this passed. We've lost a lot of um, our community to rezoning, and we lost a lot of our youth to um, to gun violence. Yes. And now we're trying to get programs back in our community so we can save our children and save our community. It's so important um, that we stick together and unite so we can have a a place, a safe haven for the kids. Absolutely. And Esther, sir, is there, if someone wanted to reach out to you, if they were having problems and they wanted to reach out to you for advice, how can they do that? Is, are you on social media? What's I'm on Facebook, Esther DeVore, no, or they can call me at 212-410-4105, or just Google Harlem Drummers. Tell us about Harlem Drummers. Tell people oh, you're involved with that. Tell yes, people about the, that. Yes, so the Harlem the Harlem Drummers has been around and existed for 19 years. This is the second generation that's um, involved now. So we're trying to keep the kids in a safe place and to um, go out in the community and bring others in to drum. We're, we are marching for against obesity now because obesity is a very, very deadly um, killer in our community. So. Right now we have open registration for the spring coming up now. Then we'll have it for the summer because we want to be in the African Day Parade as well as the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Okay, so the registration forms are found where? Where can people find They can them? call me. Okay, once you call Esther, she can give you much more information about the registration and what you need to do. But reach out to Esther. Esther is good people and she has a world of information. Yes. And she can help you. So this is this is the person you need to be talking to. So remember, give us your number again, Esther. Two one two four one zero four one zero five. We're gonna have an open house, and then I'm gonna put it out everywhere. Okay. Right. On three. Let's say Thank believe you. in yourself. You and I. On three. Thank you. One, one two, two three. three. Believe, believe in, in yourself. yourself. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. Thank you. And there you have it, everybody. Just like Esther, I can come out to your event. Just give me some time to get to you. Speaking of events, I have an event coming up on March 31st. It's a fundraiser. It's a cancer survivors event. It's a charity event. It's in honor of my mother, Sarah St. Rose, and it's going to be at the Fred Samuel Community Center on West 144th Street and Lennox Avenue. I would love to see you. Please reach out to me on my page. There is so much information regarding this event on my page. Reach out to me, inbox me. I have tickets. I would love to see you there. If you have a team and would like to play, we're welcoming teams as well. And if you are a performer, an artist, and you would like to perform, there's a halftime, and you also can. So just reach out to me. Believe in Yourself video with Claudette St. Rose on Facebook, or you can call me at 212 714-7188 and I will give you the information. Thank you. Stay close. We'll take this out real quick. I'm new to this old How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am great. I'm great. I'm so glad. What do you think about our event tonight? This was wonderful. I was so glad to come out here and see all the entrepreneurs and get to connect with so many people. This is a great event. It's my first time. What is your name, sis? Uh, Maisha. Maisha, I like that. I got one Thank you. you I know. Tell us what you do. Tell us what you do. Sure. So my business is Central Energy Alchemy, and I'm also one of the founding members of Black Tantra Group of NYC. I am a tantric and sacred sexuality coach. So I work with men, women, and couples. I'll be able to have better sex, healthier relationships, orgasmic wealth, and happier lives. Orgasmic wealth. That sounds pretty neat. Yes. I mean, if you've got good, great sex and good money, you're happy. Right? Oh, absolutely. Great sex and good money. That's, right. <laughs> That's everything, you guys. It is. It is. So how can people find you if they wanted more information about your business? Sure. They can find me at sensualenergyalchemy.com. They can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at Sensual Energy alchemy and so you also do private workshops or what do you do I do Tell us about that. Yep. so I do workshops and classes that focus around relationships communication and also sexuality 
I just wrapped up two classes on oral sex. It was really? much more than what people think. Classes on what? Tell or, me again. Oral sex. Oh. Yes, I did. Okay. I, also, okay. <laughs> I also do workshops. I have a workshop coming up on March 16th with the Black Tantra Group of NYC from 4 to 7 p.m. here in New York City. You can find us on Facebook at Black Tantra Group of NYC or on Instagram at Black Tantra NYC for that upcoming workshop. I love that. So, you. would you refer a few people to our upcoming event? Um, just stay connected so you know exactly when the next gathering is going to be. It's normally the very last Monday okay. of the month. Absolutely. So, I would say, I don't know exactly the date, but it would be the last Monday in March. And we'll be back here, I believe. I'm not sure. But the venue and everything will be, uh, uh, you know, announced. Oh, well, I'm but, a Harlemite, so I'm here. Well, you would know exactly what's happening. But I'd like to invite you to join my page. I have a page called Believe in Yourself Video. Okay. I'd love for you to be a part of that on Facebook. Absolutely, I will. As soon as I'm finished, yeah, I'll grab my phone. And and just tell a friend to tell a friend. That's Absolutely. what it's all about. This is what we have to do to That's promote right. ourselves. That's right. That's right. Way. For us, by us. Yeah. So, you know what? Let's say that. For us, by us. On three. You and I. For us, by us. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maisha. And that was Maisha. Maisha gives classes of sexual wealth. Can you imagine? I just find that fascinating. So you know what? You have to stay in touch and continue to watch. And now I am sitting with one of my favorite guys in the whole world. I look forward to his messages in the morning because I just think that he's amazing. I just love everything that he does. And as a matter of fact, he's somebody that I, I hold very highly. And he's, he's a mentor to me. He doesn't know this, but I'm saying this on camera because I just think that he's a spectacular man. And I am sitting with... Big Murph. Big Murph in the morning. Uh-oh, uh-oh. In the morning, <laughs> afternoon, evening, you name it. I'm always out supporting, and I want to say thank you to you guys because, like I always say, people don't really understand what it means to believe in yourself because if you believe in yourself, then you can convince others to believe in you. I got to also say, Mario, you've been doing your thing for years, man. Big shouts to you and all that you do to cover everything that goes on in the community. And of course, Claudette, man, you just, you're, you're a beautiful lady. I see you all over the place. I saw your weddings. I'm like, I see you. You everywhere. You travel the far ends of the earth just to make sure it gets I sure covered. Do. You know? I do. So, you know, I mean, tonight's event was, uh, was real special because it's all about giving back to black community, to giving back to our community, and try to draw people together to try to do the same thing other race of people do and if we could just understand that the power that we have and in terms of buying power we spend more money than we than we should because what we should do is take that money and build up our own if we own then we won't have to build up other people's you know their their, um, their businesses exactly. so owning our own we that's are the right. people where there is enough of us to really own a few things all we have to do is put our minds to them put our our put our minds together exactly and just come as one and we can do great things because we are great people you know i, I want to say to everybody out there who's aspiring to be something Listen, if you go into it with a what if it fails, you've already failed. You can't go into anything with a defeatist attitude, otherwise it's going to fail. you got to go into it saying, how can I make this work and be a mentor to others who want to come up behind me? Because remember, there's always somebody who opened the door for you. Make sure you continue to keep those doors and those windows open for somebody else. Absolutely. Because you'll be surprised at who's watching you. We stand on the shoulders of others, and it is Absolutely. your job. Is it, it is your responsibility to help someone else that is your responsibility I charge you with that to help somebody else propel somebody else to the next level because somebody else helped you big shouts to Mark Austin for doing this and Nabe for hosting this but I think right now it has gotten so much bigger we need a bigger place absolutely I think we're gonna need some more space oh but yes you know what we just we're just gonna put it out in the universe and, and things are gonna come back to us it's all about that good energy absolutely. and this room tonight was just full of great energy so many people with great ideas that are doing things and I am so proud to be a part of it to be a part of it all what do you have to say to that I feel the same way you do I mean I echo everything you just said because without people like yourself bringing this to the masses um, I mean, you know, nobody really understand exactly what's going on. So thanks to you guys for being out here and being that visual connection between the people who are not here, who should be here. Thank you. And on three, let's let's say let's say uh, let's try to figure out what. 
Um, believe in yourself. All right. All right. On three. One, two, three. Believe, believe in yourself. yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Mwah. And there you have it. That was Big Merv in the morning. I'm just happy again to be here, to be doing what I'm doing, and to helping our people, helping our people move to the next level, promoting our people, because again, I stood on the shoulders of somebody else, and now I am here to help my fellow man, to help my fellow man to move to the next level. But just stick around. I'm gonna get somebody else to talk to me. There's so many people here tonight. It's great energy, and I really, really wanna get a chance to talk to a few people. And and speaking of people, here's my here's my 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 girl. I love this lady. She is just extremely special. Listen, it's not how long you know somebody. A lot of people claim that they know so and so for 15 20 years but that don't mean anything you can know somebody for 30 years and still don't know them and you meet somebody and in less than a year you know more about that person and that person know, know more about you why because you connect so it's not how long and it's energy people life is is really led by energy that's how that's what that's what i feel and I really do everything that I do based on energy. And speaking about a powerful sister that I happen to really like a lot, I'm sitting here with oh, Dolphine. Dolphine. Paparazzi D. Paparazzi. And Dolphine. Lady. So tell us. Tell us about what you do, Dolphine. Um, I'm an independent consultant for Paparazzi and I sell yeah. $5 jewelry. Like this piece, I have one. It's a beautiful necklace. Yeah. I have one too. Yes, it's an infinity necklace. You can wear it in different ways. You can wear it on your wrist, your arm, uh, wrap it around any kind of way you want. And so, yeah, tell um, us, tell us where people can find you if they wanted to, to learn more about your business and and, and purchase well, items you, from you. You can call me at 917-740-8414 and you can look me up on Facebook under Dolphy Neal, D-O-L-P-H-I-N-E, and my last name is N as in Nancy, E-A-L. And if you can't find Dolphine, reach out to me because I can tell you how to find her. And, and speaking, have any events coming up for vending, get in contact right, with me. I'm your speaking, paparazzi lady. And speaking of events, we have an event coming up. I have an event coming up that is really near and dear to me. It's and, and, right on March 31st. It's a charity event in honor of my mother, Sarah St. Rose. And I would love for you to come out. It's going to be on West 144th Street at the Fred Samuel Community Center. And the event will start at 1 p.m. and it ends at 5 p.m. If you have a team, you're welcome to bring your team. Or if you're an artist and you would like to really perform on a halftime show, I would love to have you come out. Just reach out to me, Claudette St. Rose, on my page, Believe in Yourself video, and I am happy to give you more details about your event. Dolphine, I think we're doing really good. What, what, how you can contact me for tickets as, as well. March the 31st. So reach out to either Dolphine, to myself. There's so many people that are instrumental in really kicking this event off and that are really helping me in really promoting this event. So you can reach out to Dolphine at 917-740-8414. Or you can reach out to me on my page, Believe in Yourself video with what at St. Rose or you can reach me at 212-714-7188 and we have tickets but reach out to us and get your tickets you don't want the tickets to be you know gone and you don't get your ticket and if you reach out to me and you and you buy two tickets from me I will give you a free ticket so reach out to me there are, there are deals going on I'm, I'm really ready to make a deal with you for you to come out and support my event it's to support a good cause it's for survivors of cancer people have been affected by cancer okay? or any illness my mother my mother was stricken with cancer more than 23 years ago she survived that but then she was stricken with Alzheimer's and unfortunately uh, she passed away because of Alzheimer's so you know people that you love make sure they know you love them because life is tomorrow is not promised and life is so short life is so short so it is important to tell people that you love them constantly and regularly and I love you Dolphin I love you because 
Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Pisces. We're both Pisces. We have we have birthdays uh, coming up. I'm having a birthday party, but that's a surprise. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a couple more days. You'll hear all about my party. So stay connected, stay tuned. Love you guys to pieces. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. We're gonna talk to a few more people. Love you guys. Continue to watch. I appreciate you. Continue to roll with me. Continue to to really be engaged in what I do. I appreciate everything that you do. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. I can't do this without you. And remember to believe in yourself. In on three, let's say it together. One, two, three. Believe in yourself. Thank you. Thank you. on social justice issues through music, dance, and song. So how long has your group been in existence? Have you guys uh, been performing? Huh? Our organization is actually going to be 82 years old. 82 years? Yes. That's a long time. Um, the Performing Arts Academy, um, the Academy model, um, formerly the um, conservatory is now our Academy model. Um, we're now I've been leading that for about five years now. I see. So, Chloe, what does one have to do if they want to become a part of your group? Well, being a part of the Performing Arts Academy, you come um, and sign up. We're located on 1 East, 104th Street, um, right off of Fifth Avenue, right across the street from Central Park. We're in the Hexha Building. Um, we are connected with El Museo, as well as Harlem Center for Education, Capital Prep Harlem, um, Parks Department. We're all located in one building. Um, question, is there a website? Do you have a website? Yes, you can the website You is. can um, look into our program at www.theharbor.org. We are also now um, connected with SCAN. So with SCAN, New York and Boys and Girls Harbor. Um, is there a charge to become a part of the program? They, our programs are tuition free. However, okay. we are very strict with attendance and guidelines of how students receive training. Um, just because you don't pay, somebody does. And so we are very much on top of our students about how to come to class, how they should be dressed, how they should behave, thus and so. Because there are rules. I mean, life is based on rules and regulations. You have to adhere to rules. I love that. So tell us again where people can find you on your website. Are you on social media? Uh, we are on social media. You can find us so on Boys and Girls Harbor. And once again, we are now Scan New York and Boys and Girls Harbor is actually merged and we're connected. So now you can find us at several locations. So we're actually in the process of merging arts program with Scan. Um, so that will make it where we're at 18 different locations. You know, I love what you guys are doing, and I am having, speaking with and really empowering people, I have an event coming up on March 31st. Okay. It's a, uh, a charity event for basketball. Okay. And it's all about empowering, and not only that, but it's also for those who were affected by cancer, but right. also by other illnesses, life-changing illnesses. Right. And we're honoring my mother, oh, my okay. mother Sarah Rose, who passed away. So I would really love to invite your group. I like what you guys are doing. It's a Sunday, okay. March 31st, and I would like you to come. Maybe you guys can do something for halftime. Would that be possible? I mean, I always say anything is possible. I would love to do that. You and I are going to exchange something because I really would love for you to come out and do that. And I'm going to give you a card. This Thanks. is a card for the event on the 31st of March, and I'd like you to hold on to that. And I'm so called in. You know what? I love so much your. Sh I love your shirt so much. I want us to say it together because it is true. Mm -hmm. So on three, let's say artists change, change lives. lives together. You and I. One, two, three. Artists, artists change lives. lives. Thank, thank you, sis. Thank you, you so much. Thank you, thank you. I love what you're doing with the kids. And just like our, our sister Chloe here, you can be a part of the event. You can be a part of their group. You just have to reach out to her. And as she said, it is free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. 
So if you want more information about what you just saw or heard, reach out to me on my page, Believe in Yourself video with Claudette St. Rose. Call me at 212-714-7188. With a rich professional history, Matthew invests much of his personal time to public service. Born and raised in East Harlem, he remains committed to the area and was a member of his community board for over 10 years where he was elected as the chairperson at the age of 26. So he ran at 22. He didn't win, but he didn't give up. <laughs> Is that the true story? He didn't give up. He didn't win the first time, but he stayed and he, you know, he was true to his conviction and he won. Um, a position which he held for nearly six years. His commitment to service extends to other organizations as well, having served as a member of the Board of Directors for the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone, Voices Unbroken, Harvest Home Farmers Market, and Matthews Operation Fight Back, the New York City Chapter of the New York League of Conservative Voters, Civitas, Make Music New York, and Learning Through an Expanded Arts Program. And I will tell you that he's also a huge mama's boy who is uh, uh, he is a wonderful son. Is your mom here today? Yes. Oh, thank you, Mama. Mom. Do you want to share any words about Matthew Washington? Yeah. 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 about 20 things, if I'm in a preacher, a teacher, this and that and other thing. I said, man, you got to decide, one, two, three, not 20. Well, you know, he's had a heart to help the community, people. He's always had a great love for people and seeing people do well and do good. And I must tell you, he just got engaged on Saturday to to be here. I mean, I've heard so much about you, and you know what? The proof is in the pudding. You're here. You know, when you see a young black man doing stuff, doing stuff for his people, it says a lot. I'm proud of you. For those who are watching, tell us who you are and, and, and all these awards that you receive. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so my name is Matthew Washington. I'm Deputy Borough President for Manhattan, but more importantly, I'm a kid of East Harlem. I'm a product of my community, still living in my community, serving in my community, and that's what's most important. You know, how we serve the people uh, who are around us, how we serve our family, our friends, and our broader community. You don't have to be related to deserve service, and I just want to serve my community. And you know what I love? I love that, yes, because a lot of people get all these accolades and, you know, all these awards, but sometimes they forget about where they come from, and I love that you know where you come from. 
because it's important to remember yeah. and never forget. Because this, we are the ones, we are the voice of our people. Absolutely. You know, without us, there, there, there are no one. There's Absolutely. no one that's going to tell our story. Right. And so for you to come back in the community where you were raised, yeah. really served, that says a lot to you. So tell people, I mean, somebody must have inspired you. You know, it's, um, one, my, my mother was a huge inspiration. You know, my mother really took the time uh, to invest in her children. I'm one of five, and, you know, my mother took us to church, and so we had foundation, we had principles, and we had discipline. And so my mother focused on education. She focused on making sure we went to church. And, you know, it was those foundational layers that were important. And then I think, you know, meeting people who were willing to invest in someone and you know, I remember council member Phil Reed when he was the council member for East Harlem. The very first time I met him, I asked him a question about playgrounds in our community. And in that instant, he never met me before, he said that I needed to be on the community board and instantly appointed me to the community board because Phil Reed saw a he young saw man. In you. He just he saw, saw a young man. You. He saw a young man and. He said, this young man is willing to ask a question, so I'm going to invest in that young man. And Phil Reed invested in me, and it was through that investment that I understood the importance of investing in other people without even knowing them. I love that. Do you mentor any young kids? I do. I do, do mentor and talk with some young guys, really? particularly at my church, and you know, so. have been part of some mentorship programs, but it's so important. For those who are watching, tell, tell us where they can find you if they were to need somebody to mentor them, because I'm sure that your arms are wide enough to help anyone who needs a help. Yeah. So look into the camera and of help course. people, you know, where they can find you if sure. you can assist. Certainly. Well, uh, you can find me, as I mentioned, I'm Deputy Borough President of Manhattan. Uh, you can find me in the Manhattan Borough President's Office. Uh, just Google us and you'll find the website. On the website, you'll find my email address, my phone number, uh, and I'd be happy to serve in any way that I possibly can. Thank you. Give us your name again. Uh, my, my name is Matthew Washington. Matthew Washington. On three, you know, let's say something different. Let's, let's say, remember your community. Okay, I love it. it. I love it. it. Right? Yep. One, two, three. Remember, remember your, your community. community. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh, thank Give you. Give me a hug. I'm proud of you. Make sure we gear up for next year, but we know that it's an opportunity for us to recognize all of the contributions of African Americans in our community and in our society. So it was important for me to be here, but also to make sure that we recognize many of our local leaders who have been there for a long time, our tenant resident leaders, our community board members, some of the members that have come before us uh, who do tremendous work, that like really make good men for those with disabilities. It's important to recognize our community leaders who have fought so that many of us can continue to, to benefit and help our community. So I just want to say thank you for letting me be here. Happy Black History Month. And of course, just to make sure that we continue to celebrate year-round everyone in our community. So thank you. And thank you, Council Member. Special thank you to David L. Giordano, who provided us with the music for this magnificent event. If you need to reach David, you can reach him at 212-348-2343. He is just an amazing DJ, and I am quite sure that you'll be delighted to hire him. So reach out to David Giordano. Thanks, David. Thanks for the amazing music and for really having us you know, on her feet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, one of the things that I've always learned from our young age is that whatever you do, you must give it your all. You must give it your best. And I am just really inspired by you. Inspired by this beautiful young lady who is just really doing things in the community and for you at your young age to receive a proclamation from the New York Senate 
at your early years because you're you're a baby. <laughs> I am just really proud of you. Thank you so much. Now, for those who are watching, tell us who you are, and and I'll hold the mic okay. so you can speak real. Tell us who you are and um, what you're about. So my name is Kianda Hester. I grew up in Harlem. And my goal is to, to give back. I knew that that was my calling, which is why I got into social work. And I, it was on my heart to give back on my birthday because I feel like that's one of the most selfless. Usually we're selfish on that day. And I felt like that would be the day to inspire people to step outside of themselves and think about others and uh, really grow, build a community because this is a time where we really need to stick together. So um, I started it five years ago now, and I did it on my own. With some friends, we would go down the streets, go to some uh, hospitals and different places to give back. And then finally, I was uh, bold enough to say, you know what, screw all the obstacles I've been going through, because I was in graduate school, living off loans, going through a lot. And I said, I'm going to do this block party that's been on my heart. And so we wish we had uh, clothing to give for free, food for free, everything free for the community just so that they can come have a great time and understand the purpose of building together and uh, learning together. And I want it to be a national holiday. I would love to see block parties all around on national on I August 18th really where people are giving back and thinking of their is that, community. Is that your birthday yes. August 18th? Yes. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So Kianda, mm -hmm. tell me something. I know that you you've been doing this but what made you come up with an idea like this to really I mean this is big this is really ginormous um if I'm being honest I made but my birthdays were going were so important to me right. and um, I went through a spiritual growth I love me and uh, I started hearing God more if I'm being honest and I knew that my purpose here on earth is to help others and the one day that I am obsessed about if you ask any of my friends I wanted it I wanted to just give back and when I did it was a joy um, that's undeniable that you really have to experience when it's not about you when you start to see not how you can really you. help people because a simple smile a simple hello can really change someone's life and you just never know so um, it was important for me so to invoke us, that change. Thank you. So tell us where can people find you if they wanted to get involved in your organization and to learn more about what you do. Okay. Um, I'm on Instagram at K Hartfelt or National Good Deeds Day um, and I'm also you can get me by email as well at uh, k i y o n d a h at gmail.com and uh, we can connect there as well. Thank you. You know what? I want you and I to say giving back is more rewarding than receiving. It really is. Together. Let's say okay. that together. Yes. One, two, three. Giving, giving back, back is, is more rewarding, rewarding than, than receiving. Oh. Let's say it again. Okay. I screwed that up. <laughs> I think I did. Okay. One more time. So what is it? Giving, giving back, back is much more, more rewarding much than more. receiving. Yes. One, two, three. Giving, giving back, back is much more rewarding than receiving. receiving. Thank you. <laughs> and this is going to be on my. Now, everybody in every borough has a go to person for a lot of things that they do. Every borough has council women and council men. And you happen to be the go-to person for this area. Thank you. Diana Ayala. Thank you. Kionos, it's an honor to see you again. I love coming out. I love that you're involved in your community. I love that you really not only talk the talk, but you walk the walk. Thank you. This event here tonight, it honoring was nice. people, what it beautiful. It was really nice. And it was really about not just closing out Black History Month, but also reflecting on who we are, right, where we are, where we come from, and giving our young people an opportunity to see black and brown people that look and sound like them, right, and so that they know that they can do whatever they want, that the sky is the limit, but I, I enjoy what I do, I love my community tremendously, and I'm just, you know, really humble for the, the opportunity yeah. to be able to serve So, Ms. Ayala, if people wanted to find you to get more yes. involved in the community, what do they have yeah, to do? Yeah, so you can come to my office. I actually have two district offices. I have one here in East Harlem at 105 East 116th Street between Lexington and uh, Park Avenue. And then I have another office in the South Bronx at 214 St. Anne's Avenue, which is on 137th Street. Okay. So, 
if they wanted to come out and volunteer, you have volunteership, you have different programs. We have, do well, we, we, we do. We have opportunities for volunteering at different events, but we also t uh, take young people and we mentor them. So we allow, you know, for uh, internships. Is there, you want to thank the people for coming out? I want to thank everybody for coming out. It was a tremendous event. It was a, uh, a family-oriented event, and I really appreciate you all being here. And I know that you couldn't do this all alone. I could not do this all by myself. You know, all I, the people that help Everybody. It takes a village to raise a community. It takes a village, <laughs> it takes to, raise a village a to raise a community. Raise a child. That's and right. you know what? On three, let's say it takes a village to raise a community. One, two, three. It, it takes, takes a, a village, village to raise a community. A community. <laughs> you want to say hello thank to our Latino community also. These are sí, people. Están? Muchísimo gusto. Estamos aquí celebrando a Black History Month. Estamos dejando el mes y queríamos este, darle la oportunidad a nuestras personas personas jóvenes que vieran personas que son como ellos que vienen de las comunidades donde ellos vienen que también han aspirado a otras cosas y que hay oportunidad para todos nosotros so, muchísimas gracias a todos los que vinieron y para mí siempre es un honor a representar mi comunidad vamos a decir vamos a cuidar nuestra comunidad claro On three. One, two, three. Vamos, vamos a cuidar, cuidar nuestra, nuestra comunidad. comunidad gracias It's off. And so this really was an amazing event. I had to come out. Esther DeVore is important to me. You are important to me. If you have an event and you want me to come out, reach out to me. This is what I do, come out and serve my community. Black History Month is not only about the people that look like me or like you, it's about people that are doing, that are alive and well, and they're doing things in your community to uplift you and to uplift me. And speaking about uplifting, continue to stay connected, continue to stay close, help somebody, find out how you can make a difference in somebody's life. I made a difference in everybody's life here. I wasn't expected, but I came out because I care. I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for watching. My kids, Maya and Gabriel, continue to do what you do. Mario Gray, thank you. Thank you for your support and for all that you do for me. Love you all. And until next time, peace and blessings.